everyone. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. We are here to drop those nuggets. <laughs> this is Angela from Earrings by Angela. Listen, everyone is saying, well, I shouldn't say everyone, but so many are saying, Angela, but you teach jewelry, baby. I teach mindset first. Okay, because <laughs> if you can't get your mind right, I can't teach you. <laughs> so listen, this is our very first episode of Wisdom Wednesday, and I want to drop a delicious wisdom nugget on you because I want you to be inspired and empowered at the same damn time. <laughs> so listen, our subject today is let's talk about failure because there's so many people and I'm not excluded who have a fear of of failure or had because they learn different had a fear of failure so listen you know failure is not a bad thing actually our topic today is how we're going to use failure as our fuel right because there's so many people around waiting for you to fail. Like, uh-uh, she ain't going to be able to pull that off. Or he, he got big dreams. He thinks he all that. You know, he's not going to be able to do it. And then, and that's what we're scared of. We're scared of that judgment that, oh, man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to take the risk in case I fail. Listen, I want to tell you right now that whether you fail or not in whatever you're trying to do it's nobody else's business stop worrying about what other people think i had to learn this lesson myself for real y'all in real life because that's where our joy is going to be stolen from you, you you know you worry about what other people think and then you become anxious you you have anxiety you 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 stop living you know to your true abilities you stop looking within and and worrying about what people are saying on the outside and you hear this expression that let your haters be your motivator it's true y'all listen here's the here's the bottom line even if you fail at least you did something but what are the the other people that's talking about you what did they do they sat back and wait to judge you but you're the one who had the courage to take the risk. Hello, somebody. Am I lying? Tell me if I'm lying. I'm not lying. So our quote is that failure is nothing to be ashamed of, but it's something to be powered by. How do you use failure as your fuel? Listen, you're not going to have success without failure. That's just it. So anything that you're going to attempt, you're going to come back. You're going to come with some level of failure where it's not going to work. But guess what? You let that teach you. Okay, well, that didn't work. So let me try this again. It's a learning lesson. It's a step process. You see what I'm saying? But if there's nothing to learn, how are you going to teach other people? Because there's no lesson. We have to go through the lessons. That's what failure is. It's a lesson. It causes us to stop and think about what's working and what's not working. Now, that can either, it's also a telltale. Are we just doing this because we thought it was easy? Or are we doing it because this is what we want to do and, and we're going to keep going until it works? Because if you keep going and you build that consistency, consistency, it's going to work. But you have to give it time. And you have to, you know, be ready for the next step. But just keep moving, right? So don't let the fear, fear of failing cause you to quit even before you get started. Because what's the lesson in that? There's a lesson right there in that, real talk. If you quit before you even get started, it means you never really wanted it. That was a long pause. Did y'all thought y'all thought the video ended? <laughs> no, that was a long dramatic pause. Because I wanted you to stop and think about that. And the other thing is, when you really want to do something, don't tell nobody else about it. Because you open up the floodgates for criticism. Just go do what I call your thug fizzle, y'all. 
So go go do what you need to do. And you know, let the work speak for itself. But even even if it doesn't work out, you you can tell that story later after you succeed. And then people are like, wow, so this is how he or she got through this, or this is how they overcame this, right? So I want to use the example of Steve Harvey for a minute, because I love Steve Harvey, y'all. Some people don't, but I don't care. I love him. (laughs) But he shared how he became a comedian and, you know, how he did his first stand-up got $50. The next day he quit his job. And when he went to go into the office to quit his job, his boss said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You won $50 at an amateur night and you want to come in here quitting your job. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Now, of course, I'm paraphrasing because this ain't my story. It's his story. And he said, no, I, no, I, I know I can do this. You know, he said, you're making a big mistake. You got a family, da, da, da. Because that's what people will tell you. They'll tell you all the reasons why you can't do it to try to keep you stuck. You paying attention? But Steve listened to his intuition. And he admits it was not easy. He became homeless and had to live in his car. But he didn't quit. Other people would be like, oh, you failed because you didn't make it. You homeless. You lost everything because of this. But he used it as a lesson and perseverance to keep going and now hey we don't even have to continue with the story we see what happened how many television shows does he have how he was on the king of comedies one of the the greatest you know comedy shows ever um how you know he has written books and and started becoming a mentor for other you know hopeful uh business owners and and you know entrepreneurs And we can go on and on and on. But you don't think he had to fail his way to the top? Everyone does. You're not exempt from that. But it only, failure only continues to be a failure if you don't let it blossom into success. Oh my God, I got to write that down. Because that was a nugget, another nugget. Mm. Failure only becomes a failure. Continues to be a failure if you don't let it blossom into success. I'll write it down later. <laughs> Sometimes I say a nugget be like, yeah, you know what? That was some good stuff right there. <laughs> Y'all so crazy. So listen, what is it that you're attempting to do that you seem like, oh man, I failed at this. There's, there's just no hope. Go back to that goal and see how. You can get your next step. Well, this this didn't work. Okay, write down what didn't work. Now, try this, you know, and write that down on paper. Now, now, hey, Angela, try this. You know, hey, uh, Brian, try this. Hey, uh, Morel, Mor- Esmeralda, try this. I'm just making up names. Y'all see me reaching. Help me, help me. <laughs> Y'all so crazy. But listen, so that is the wisdom wednesday nugget for you use failure as your fuel don't let it stop you let it propel you hello somebody oh my gosh Mm, mm, mm. i'm writing that down (laughs) i keep notes y'all um so until next week on wisdom wednesday you know keep the nuggets flowing keep searching for that wednesday It's hump day. We need that extra oomph in the middle of the week to keep us going, y'all. I thank you for joining me. And you know what? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. Because, man, at this point, we're family. So I want to see you next Wednesday. And let's keep dropping those nuggets. Share this video. Like it. And comment. You can even share your own wisdom nugget in the in the comments. What has helped you from this video? Let me know. And until then, I'll see you next Wednesday.